is about to make his he's making his entrance right now. We're about to hear from Courtesy Chris. He's got, getting down to that ring. Oh no. Look what I did to Judge J. Stone. One goddamn pep talk. And he sent Dable in right back to where he was before they decided to step into our business last week. Hey assholes at Erie, Pennsylvania, where nobody becomes anything. Hey assholes, did you like what happened out there? Dave Lynn, you thought you were a big guy getting into business. Well, oh well, fuck. Look what happened to you, buddy. Back to the ER you go. Fix that dent in your head if it's even recoverable. My God. And I feel so damn good right now. So damn good. Hey, gambler. Let's finish the entire equation off. You got other things to worry about. I, I mentioned Billy Shortcake, right? You should really be focusing on the kid you care about instead of us. Hey, gambler, I got a proposition for you, buddy. Since uh, you want to act all funny and act like yeah, 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 yeah. You, you got the win last week. Uh-uh, that guy got the win for you, and he just got put to shit to sleep for good. How about I take on the gambler next week and finish this equation off for good? I want the gambler next week, and all of you can realize that I'm the guy that officially put an end to the most unfunny joke in the business. So how about it, you dumbass? How about we get this thing? Let's get, let's get rowdy. All right, look at the kid, look at the kid. The kid, dad. Oh, hello, Mr. Chris, loser of the, uh, of the, of the battle. Oh, what up? Hey, 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 hey. I feel like I should uh, say something. Gambler's not in the building tonight, uh, but I am. Uh, Gambler has a girlfriend now, and uh, he is officially Dating. I sucked on another uh, popsicle, so. Anyway, hey. Uh, you're gonna have to ask Gambler for this match again some other time. I can give you his phone number. Uh, I can do whatever else you need me to do. But right now, it's just me, so. I mean, whatever you need to tell him, just tell me. I'm here. Okay, Mr. Meridian, I'll go along with it. How about this? How does, I have questions to ask. Uh, it's, it goes both to you and him. Yeah. How does it feel to be the biggest joke in the industry? How, how does it feel? How does it feel to be the biggest pussy-ass joke this entire industry's ever seen? You know, I, I'm not really that funny. I don't, I don't like telling jokes. And uh, my family kicked me out of the house for telling one of the best jokes of all time, which I cannot tell you on this show because it will get me canceled, okay? But uh, if you want to call us that, that's fine. I understand I look weird. The lipstick, uh, not lipstick, it's popsicle. That's fine. That's all you had to say. I'm done wasting my time. I'm out of here. Wasting your time? No, no, no. I didn't need to put any energy into this, goddammit. But you two snuck a win last week that I couldn't let happen. And look at Dave Lynn. How are you so emotionless? Do you actually care about that man? Huh? Do you actually care about him? I don't think so, gambler. Yeah. I'm not fucking stupid in either of these people. And I don't think you're very funny. And I want to put your ass down next week. So just make it easy on both of us. I'm not a fighter. I'm a lawyer. And I get shit done in court. But Chris, when I look at you, I see probably top contender, ugliest person I've ever seen in my life. Hands down, look at you. The streaks in your hair, what? Who's your barber? Anyway, my barber is Arnold Schwarzenegger, okay? And uh, my hair is off the charts. I don't care. God damn it, man. Stop being a joke for once in your life. And just realize, Without Table M, without anybody, you're the biggest joke in the goddamn game.
accept my match next week so I can take you down and end this shit for good. Do you understand me? You know what? I usually don't get upset, okay? I usually don't get upset. You're really starting to tick my buttons and push my asshole. So here's the deal. Gambler won't be facing you next week, okay? For the first time in wrestling history, Sex Meridian will take on Courtesy Chris. No laws applied. How about that? Because I plan on doing horrible things to your body and taking you to a place you've never been before. You know what? I'm I, I what a Sex Meridian, my man. The gamble boy. Finally. Getting some balls for yourself, doing something on your own. Because you know every time you try doing something on your own, you always fail. Just ask Billy and just ask Carl. Next week I'll put my suit on, you keep your suit on. I'll go by your rules, no laws applied, no rules, fuck. And Mr. Meridian, it'll be the last damn time you ever smile, and the last damn time you ever want to make a joke again. And that'll be courtesy of Chris. Shut up! Next week! My God, man. What the hell is going on? <laughs> <laughs> this is the 